Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, today we're going to continue playing as the NCR? No, we're not! We're playing as the Enclave! Yeah, Enclave, not the NCR today. That was the past two weeks. But we're going to play as the Enclave. Right now, you're like taking a look at my template. Right now, 10 combat width of power armor is... Okay. It's not great. I'll be honest with you, I tried this a little bit earlier, and it didn't go very well for me. So right now, this is going to be probably a bad thing to do. And I'm going to go ahead and add in a crap ton more power armor in which I will not be able to fill all this up eventually. Well, hopefully someday I will, but I need 20 with power armor because let's say I went to war with the Yakuza and didn't do so great. So I'm going to need quite a bit more power armor now. And any way I can get more power armor, the better. So let's go ahead and continue. Yes, power armor sucks now, but that's all right. So Right now, we can, we're doing except Super Mutants, so we can get more construction speed, factory output, dockyard output, and gain some stability, I guess. Uh, but, ultimately, because the Klamath are attacking me, we still want to go to war with the NCR, but not yet. I just am not ready to go to war with them yet. Eventually, I will go to war with them. The Emergency Council, huh. But, um, yeah. The diplomatic Mission. Hmm. Oh, I see what they have that little event up here in the Northern California region. But my goal is to go to war with the Yakuza, take them out, take their factories, and then prepare for a war against the Klamath, and then eventually the SNCR. I do want to take out the Yakuza now, just because it gives me more factories. Yes, I might end up in a war with the Desert Rangers eventually, but having the Yakuza territory factories, that will probably prove to be very useful in the future. So we're going to do that, and right now I'm going to go ahead and add on a medical chem company to my boys. There we go. Let's see, the Klamath are obviously trying to go to war with us in about 160 days. Uh, I'm going to continue hiding from the NCR for now, but the Yakuza, they have up to 11 to 19 divisions, and yeah, <clears throat> they do border the Desert Rangers, which might go to war with me if they join the NCR when, I, when we are in our battles, but right now, we're going to try a, a fast one, a, some sort of fast one against the Yakuza. I hope I can win. Oof. Because I tried this a little bit earlier and it was not easy. So that's why I've increased my power armor width by double. Hopefully this will be okay. I mean, obviously I won't have all these good stats until we fill up all the divisions, but it's a work in progress, right? Breakthrough's nice. Defense is nice. Armor is only 50% or hardness is 50%. Armor is 46. Hardness, soft attack. Not bad, not bad. A lot of weight though. There's a lot of weight over here. And I did increase the number of Enclave Auxiliaries by one because I'm going to need more divisions, especially if I have to guard my southern front against the NCR or the Desert Rangers. Regardless, let's go ahead and move on to fear, uncertainty, and doubt because this will hurt the New California Republic where there are division recovery rate, stability, surrender limit, war support, and division attack because that would be good to do now because the Scorpions are still fighting them even though the Scorpions are out of manpower. So, the Scorpions, these, these, this Raider Nation is causing problems for the NCR. Let's go to, go to war with these guys as fast as possible. So, um, it looks like they don't have a lot of open areas, so go ahead and just try to move in. I'm not sure where their 11 or to 12 divisions were at, but that's okay with me. 11 to 19, I mean. Alright, so we've eventually found some of them. Uh, infantry, probably not a good idea for them to attack. Go ahead and come down here and stop the attacks. How many days do we have until the climate attack? 110. That's not bad. Actually, that's not too bad. Uh, they probably will actually just go ahead and attack us. You come down here. If you can cut these guys off, that would be lovely. Alright. Can't quite get down there yet. They still can pierce us, which is good. Oh, do you have a ability? No. You're level 4, though. That's good to know. Um, just move this way. Nice. Oh, that division was just immediately gotten rid of. Nice. Oh, I told you to stop. Yeah, do that. Come down here. Uh, you guys come down here. We took Tobin Wasteland. Hopefully we can get some sort of, um... Cause these guys to go bye-bye. Oh, we have... Another infantry division. Nice. Recon companies for our... Um, what is it? For our... Infantry divisions. 
Now, I'm not going to put any support companies, I think, on my armor, because if I do, that does lower the armor amount to 43, which isn't bad. Actually, that could be really good for de defense and recon, actually. Where's the recon over here? Recon zero. Increase by one. That actually might be really beneficial to do. I might think about doing that. We'll see what happens. If I can get more armor, that'd be great. If I can't, well, oh well. Push him in if you can. Because these guys are literally starving. Three divisions were encircled. Oh. Oh, so good. The League of Citizens. As it turns out, many Wastelanders have their own views of ghouls, mutants, and primitives. I also have coffee here. Good stuff. First Citizens Linnet of Vault City has joined ranks with many Enclave moderates who think that civilized wastelanders are real Americans, but that tribals need a firm guiding hand and mutants and ghouls need a plasma blast. <laughs> to many, Vault City is a model town. Peaceful and prosperous, and the comparison to the Rift Raft of New Reno or Shady Sands only bolsters their views. Linnet has League of Citizens promising to rebuild all of America and Vault City's image. Ruin her reputation for more oligarchy. Huh. Two steps forward, one step back. More legitimacy, but less political power. Hmm. I can unlock as a political advisor. First, Citizen Linnet. She has something of a point. Lose legitimacy. So, regardless, the elites will now be called the League of Citizens. The elites. People, intellectuals, elites. Anti-integration party. That's fine. I don't care if the party. I can ruin her reputation. But I like the, the more legitimacy. Even though... Political power, I still need some political power. Uh, let's do this, too. Mm, I need more war support, so... Let's do this. I lose research speed, but I get more weekly war support. That's fine with me. I'm going to do this. Two steps forward, one step back, so that I get more legitimacy. And that actually gives me a little bit more political power as well. Not bad. How many divisions do we actually have trapped here? So, there's six divisions. Holy crap. Oh, I've got better power armor. Nice. I forgot I could actually do that. Uh, I'm going to go with warrior training next. Send one boy here. Send one boy over here. Uh, if you want to really push in, I'll go ahead and do that. Nice. Not bad. Move down. Um, keep these guys stationary. Nice. Goodness, fear, uncertainty, doubt, so the NCR has been hit. I'm going to do stage raider attacks because I can send infantry equipment to raider nations bordering the NCR and reduce suspicion of NCR people to, from me. And we're going to need some guns, some pipe guns, since I'm researching that eventually. Jesus, how did I entrap a lot of divisions? They're all dead. <gasps> oh my gosh, we've got 2,000, 2.3 thousand already. In exchange for 247. Ooh, New Canaan was dead. Ooh. Simple circuitry. Oh, we could use more decryption. Research speed. Let's get some more decryption. Five research slots. So good. All right. Pipe guns. Need to produce some of those. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, no, no, no. Not slashing weaponry. Can I do this? No, I can't. I can't do Brotherhood stuff, so that's fine. Um, ba -dum. Spec Ops. No, I can't do that. How about Infantry Organization? That could be useful. Oh, more defense sounds good to me as well. Let's go ahead and reorganize our line so we're a little bit more balanced. How many more days do we have left? They have 10 to 16 infantry divisions, or divisions overall. Oh, wait. For the Klamath, they have 75 days left before we go to war with them. Um, I guess we're still fighting down here. All right. The fall. Oh! New Canaan, the heart of the Mormon faith, has fallen to the Legion. Kaisar's Legion has crucified several of their members in a vicious mockery of their faith, and its inhabitants now face an uncertain future under Kaisar's Legion. Utah now joins Arizona and New Mexico under the Red Banner, with New California in disarray after the Enclave's conquest and New Canaan in ashes. There is no one to stop the Legion from subduing the peaceful settlements of, on its fringes, unless the Republic of the Rio Grande wants to help. And we get a debuff against Kaisar's Legion. Oh, Dead Horse took them out, as well as Iris. Iris, something like that. Oh, we got three divisions here. Nice. Take two. Attack this way. One half organized infantry division like that won't be very much. Take you down here as well. Nice. We encircled. Ah, two divisions. Awesome. And they're gone. Cool. I do want to do another. Um, 
Not breakthrough, but another encirclement somewhere. They are attacking me in certain locations. Ooh, if I could come down here, that'd be awesome. But I can't quite do that yet. How about you guys just come down this way? Take three of you guys. They're attacking us anyway, so you might as well try to push them back. Uh, you know what? You help out. Take half. And do that. You should be... Well, maybe you shouldn't, couldn't be able to win there. Oh, their divisions are definitely stacking up now, which is not good. Not good, but that's alright. Come to Fallon. If we can. Oh! Arming Raiders. It has been suggested that we arm the Raider factions bordering on the NCR. This would encourage them to attack NCR border towns, drawing attention away from us, which would be great. I could get political power and war support, or arm the raiders, which if we send infantry equipment to any raider faction boarding the NCR, to reduce suspicion by 20. Arm raider gangs. Do you have any, something here? No. Uh, let's try that. I, I want it to be easier to hide from these guys, but arm raider gangs. Enclave has spies. Oh, I need spies. Uh, well. Send out spies. Thank you. And another infantry division. Um, organize the sympathizer so that people become more technocratic in the NCR, which will be great. Great, great, great. Mm. I'm a little challenged here. You know what? You're coming down here. You come down here. You come over here. Stop those guys from moving. If we can... Ooh, communist ghouls. Granite's anti-communist diatribes have become a subject of discussion, and it appears that one of the pre-war ghouls, a librarian before the war, has offered to speak with Granite and explain communism to him. He's asked Granite to read a book called Das Kapital, which she says was a communist work. Wait, he's asked Granite? Which she says was a communist work. All right, well, let's read it. Could lose legitimacy, but we're going to read it, but better read. Granite gave up on Das Kapital after the first few pages, finding it incredibly tedious and completely incomprehensible to someone raised 200 years after a nuclear war. Still, at least he decided that it's simply un-American to oppose baseball, but not a sign of communist sympathies. Nice, we get more political power. That's awesome. Try this. Nice, you come over here. Uh, yeah, that'd probably be best. To at least encircle one division at a time. Give me half of you guys, because we are, we are literally running out of time before the climate go to war with us. Which is fine. They have about 43 more days. Great Cons declared war in High Chapel. That's fine. Um, I guess we didn't really cut them off. What happens if we attack this way? Can we destroy them? Perhaps? Maybe? Yes, we might just be able to destroy them. Help out here. Nice. Reference manual. Kill these guys off. How many divisions are down here? Three? Awesome. Get this. Stop the attack. Or stop looking at the attack and get a better reinforce rate. We're doing okay. That's good. Uh, give me one of you guys. Help attack this way. Nice. I think one huge push, once this is done, will make us very successful. Come on. Just destroy these guys. And they are gone. Good. Because then I'm going to have to rush divisions up to the north. We have 19 days. 19 days. Prepare yourselves. 3, 2, go. Just crush your enemies if you can. Eh, hey, walking tanks. Nice. So we got more power armor breakthrough, soft attack, and hard attack. While we did lose a little bit of information there. Purity or principle? Mm, we lose population, reinforce rate, we get more air superiority and more supply grace. More army breakthrough and soft attack, less population, a lot of less population. And army gets more soft attack, hard attack, supply use, and more air superiority. Or, we get more re recon, we get more soft attack and hard attack, and population. Then we lose some population, we get more recovery rate, soft attack, hard attack, organization. And then, champions of virtue, more power, armor, recovery rate, defense, soft attack, hard attack, organization. I want that one. Principle. Thank you. And we can still hide from the NCR, but I still want to arm these guys. But we have to wait for our spies to get over there first in 22 days. Alright, we are crushing them. Arming Patriots tutorial. We've gained the ability to arm Patriots. To do so, click on the NCR state over here where my mouse is. And that'll be great. Armed Patriots. States that have armed Patriots will flip to our side and spawn militia units when we decide to start the Californian Uprising. And arming Patriots costs more political power each time it is used. Alright. Well, if we want to go to war first and arm some Patriots. We could do Mark Mark Lee. 
Since it costs zero. The state already has Patriots ready to go. Awesome. And come on, crush the Yakuza. Take Carson City. Oh, wait. Crap. Focus. A Californian Civil War. We don't want to do that yet. Crack the code. Old World Propaganda. Less stability, but more daily intellectual support in the NCR. That must, that sounds like fun. Let's do that. Alright, so the Klamath are probably going to declare war. They have four days until they go to war with us. Come on, just... Okay, whew. Oh. Alright, now immediately rush to the north. Because I know they're going to start attacking us like crazy. Alright. Um, oh, do you have an upgrade? Oh, you're an infantry expert. Nice. And since we do this, let's go ahead and switch on over to better power armor. Yes, we're not going to make that much at a time, but whatever. Uh, pipe machine guns, those would be good. We do have a few planes. That's actually pretty good as well. Went to war with us immediately. Oh, get some dive bombers and get some scrap fighters. Even though I don't think I have even an airport up there, which sucks. Um, don't worry about that. Just kind of hold the line. Just get up to where we need to be. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, man, that was dangerously close from us losing stuff. Ooh, Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, guys! Americans enjoy the return of the 4th of July so much that the president is thinking about restoring more holidays. One of his favorite enclave traditions is Thanksgiving, where we can carve up the roast death claw and eat sweet potato pie. We could revive this tradition for the entire country and ensure our people are thankful for friends and family, thankful for low, low prices from the Crimson Caravan, or the Enclave for protecting friends and family. I want that, because right now I get more and more political power, non-core manpower, and mobilization speed from legitimacy. Beautiful. Um, let's see. Ooh, we can arm raider gangs now. We lose a little bit of... Um, infantry equipment, but the cost for this goes down, which is good. Because this will probably be the last time I actually do that. For that, so that'll be fine. Move on in. If you can, just encircle that division. That'd be great. Keep these guys in place. Move in. We might be able to encircle some of these guys. That'd be awesome. Yeah, these guys are toast. Move on up, if you can. Power armor. Oh yeah, move on up. Actually, letting them in is sometimes a good strategy so that you can actually get behind them and basically take them out. Alright, well. They chose their fate. Oh. And this will be the last time I do the NCR thing, probably. NCR radio? What is that? When selected, they'll become more popular in technocracy as well as oligarchy. Also, I want to let you know, I'm not sure how much time has already passed by because I forgot to start my stopwatch this time. But that's okay. We can crack the code, which would be good. The Californian Civil War. Um, we can do Department of Defense. Bonus for Industry. Reform General Staff. Not bad. Home Defense. Division Defense on Core Territory. National Guard is pretty good. But there's other stuff we can do on the left side here. Rebuilding a nation, eventually. Enforce American Culture. So we get cores on Yakuza Territory. Hmm. Gotta love coffee. Civilization by force. This is all good stuff, but I don't really need this stuff at the moment. Well, with that in mind, we, I guess we'll go back to the right. And let's go ahead and do... Let's do a military thing. Let's see. Gearing up for war. More power armor production. Oh, yeah, baby. Cost 25 army XP, but that's all right. That's okay. Send out spies. That might be good to do just in case right now. Oh, we need more manpower. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize that. Oh, but we are winning this war very nicely against them. And we have 49 factories, that's awesome. Oh, and the NCR is running out of manpower. Oh wait, hold on, maybe not. Maybe they're mobilizing more men or something, because holy crap, that was like really low. That was, that's a little more than me. Oh, they got more manpower now, that's not good. Warrior training, more defense, more breakthrough, awesome. Get even more defense and breakthrough. That's awesome. I mean, we're just winning this war. I'm glad we actually were able to encircle the Klamath enemy. That was actually really good. Metal armor. More defense. Nice. Very nice. 
Scavenged PA. Basic power armor of max speed and reliability. Ooh. Ooh, how about air stuff? I want more I want better dive bombers, but we don't can't really do that yet. Circuitry stuff we can't do yet. Construction engineering. We were trying to build up last time a bunch of forts around here. But now we're just building up a lot of military factories. A lot of forts, just in case. Raider attack. Raider attacks have been part of the daily horrors of the wasteland life. For many towns on the border of our controlled territory, this has not changed. Recently, another report has come in about a small town ravaged by a raider gang. But this time, we have a solid lead on the location of the perpetrators. Uh, bring them to justice for a little bit less manpower, but more legitimacy. I need to raise my conscription level. Lose legitimacy and NCR suspicion will go down, but let's see. NCR suspicion's okay. Kill them all and let God sort it out. Well, I get political power and war support, which isn't bad. I could get more legitimacy, but I need more manpower right now. So we'll go do that. And I will end the episode probably once these guys are gone. NCR. Let's see. Right now, they're mostly people. But the people support is getting lower and lower by the day. Yeah. I'm not going to hide from the NCR anymore just because I can't afford to. Because this is a massive front we will have against them. I hope to God that the Rangers don't go to war with us. Alright, more military factories, nice. Increase the power armor levels. I need up to 20 at minimum. Do some of that, do some of that, and do some of that. Oh boy, I hope, we're, hope we'll be ready. So, let's go ahead and get some more fools and dreamers. So, right now we have less non-core manpower, but 5% recruitable population. With this one, we get more non-core manpower by ultimately 10% from where we're at, and 2% more recruitable population, which is fine with me. What are we making that we're not using? Oh, pipe machine guns. Um, Go ahead and do that, because it gives us more defense and soft attack, which we could really use. That's actually pretty good. Nice. Arms development, bonus to industry, in which we can get gearing up for war, which would be great for us. Really, really great. Uh, Vault City University, that'd be nice. Don't, can't really do that. And... Where are we? I don't think it's been enough time yet. I'm going to go for about five more minutes. I'm sorry, I don't really know when I started recording this. So my apologies if it goes over normal time or not. So, And I, I still want to keep playing this. So, um, No location set. I just need more power armor for you guys. I'm going to start forming up an actual pure infantry defensive army against the rangers down here. That'll be good. Vert Vertebird crash in Legion territory. Oh, crap. Mr. President, it appears that one of our Vertebirds engaging in peaceful reconnaissance over Legion territory crashed. Sadly, our efforts to maintain technological maintain technology that was designed before a glo global atomic war two centuries ago, although impressive, is not perfect. Kaiser's men are ransacking the crash site, and although they prefer or probably cannot build Vertebirds, it may give them insights into rebuilding their own air force, which is really bad for us. So, when we do go to war, I'm going to go to make sure that we can arm more and more Patriots. Ooh, but the cost just keeps going up. Ooh, baby. But they're still struggling. Holy crap, with the Scorpions. That's awesome. Because even though they're out of manpower, they only have up to 8 to 12 divisions. But this is so tight down here. NCR, they probably got some more... Ooh, demoralizing campaign. They could probably... Oh, they actually took something. They took the southern part here but they got some more manpower somehow oh it's probably because they had the barons war and somehow like record northern area here ah oh, see it's a colony state now but that doesn't explain how this is hmm i don't know gearing up for war we got more production better production costs for infantry and power armor equipment air doctrine stuff home defense which isn't bad more stability this gives you more recruitable population Department of Homeland Security, Institute Emergency Draft, and Army Reserves. That's not bad. I like all this stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to crack the code probably first. Actually, I should have core. No, let's go ahead and instead core some territory because I need some more manpower. So let's core Vault City. Oh, well. No, thank you. Do that instead. Awesome. And crap, the Mojave Brotherhood canceled our Lendlease, which actually really helped us with our power armor deficit. But oh well, what can you do about it? The Washington Brotherhood's pretty large. Holy cow. Hmm. Nice. Gearing up for war. Even better production costs. 1.9 a day for the better power armor. Love it. 
Scavenge for old world technology for discovery of the old world tech might be useful for us. Well, let's see. We're going to do this for more of that. We're going to do this so that the suspicion goes down a little bit more or something. The Mojave Raiders. Uh, honestly, don't really need to do that. NCR Radio. Let's do NCR Radio. Because I want to use most of my political power. And I'll do it anyways, why not? Send out spies, that'd be good. I want to do more of armed patriots stuff. Because I'm probably just going to end up going to war with the NCR anyways. So, but it is a little bit concerning. that They have a lot of divisions and they're getting more and more manpower. They are beating back. Oh, the scorpions are losing now. That's not good. That's really not good. Better research times, thank you. Long 15. Please do not capitulate, long uh, scorpions. You have 12 manpower. You have a whole 12 manpower, guys. Put you in a new theater. Put you under Colonel David Stevenson. And I can't promote anybody. That's okay. Do that just in case things go south. Because right now we at least have one division per tile up in the, up in the north. And also before we go to war with the NCR. Oh my gosh. 332 political power. That's a bit too much for me. So I'm not going to have that political power by the time we go to war so the next episode we're gonna to have to end up going to war with the ncr that's how it's going to end up so uh with that in mind let's go do civilization by force to get even more manpower and before we go i'm also going to do we have pretty good stability anyways i'm going to start arming more patriots so we got 75 so we have this territory we have etna we have redding Oh, we need to do Redding. We don't have Tumblewood Ranch. We have Mark Lee. Can I have, like, Rebel Spawn in Dayglow? That'd be cool. Oh, man, if I could do it, like, here, but cut off the Long 15 from the enemy, that'd be awesome. But I cannot. So, uh, let's see. Honestly, just anything that borders me so I can get some Patriots, that would be great. Let's do Gator Ranch next. So, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. We have definitely expanded our territory. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we will end up going to war with the NCR, ready or not. Thanks for watching.